some months to get back to normal. I can't even find a cockroach to commune with. I have lost my rhythm. I can't sleep, I can't eat. I have been robbed of all my filth. about in a red posher. 
by a woman who's better read than I am. I like to be driven about in a red portion by a woman who explains classical music to me.
he could get so indignant, he snapped and he ripped with wonderfully energetic sentences. He could lay the world down bright and writhing. There was a stink of blood and murder and sex sacrifice about him. The only tenderness he allowed was when he bedded down his large German wife. I liked the H. Lawrence. He could talk about Christ like he was the man next door. And he could describe Australian taxi drivers so well you hated them. I liked G. H. Lawrence. But I'm glad I never met him. In some bistro. Him lifting his tiny hot cup of tea and looking at me with his warm hole.
Round about midnight. Nej, vi når med bedre. Det er bommer på tiden, da. Ja. Round about noon. You never know these days. Vi skal introdusere en litt annen mann her. Jeg vet ikke om dere har hørt om Frank O'Hara. Ja. Han er vel en litt annen tradisjon, men likevel så synes jeg at de to henger litt sammen. Han er nok kanskje, jeg vet du vet mer om O'Hara med, kanskje? Han er en New Yorker. Han er en østjutt mann, og Bukowski er vel Los Angeles, Vestjusten. Jeg vet i hvert fall, jeg visste mye mer for 30 år siden. Ja, ok. Men da leser vi hjertet mitt. Oh, Frank, over. Jeg har ikke tenkt å bare grine eller å fly rundt og flire uavbrutt. Jeg setter ikke en trend over en annen. Gi meg en drittfilm så det suser, ikke bare en uventet selger, like gjerne en gigantisk nylansert kjempeflapp. Frank, hva så? Jeg går ikke bestandig kledd i dress som er brun eller grå, gjør jeg vel? Og jeg har gått med dongel i skjort i operan, ofte. Jeg vil ha føttene bare. Ansiktet glattraket og hjertet.